Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to record a bass amp. You can take all of this information to record any amp, um, whether it be a guitar or keyboard or whatever. So first thing is placement of the, mic of the amplifier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's on its rubber feet and it's plugged into the wall or a uh, socket using an IEC cable. And I'm going to leave it off for the moment. I'm going to turn it on once everything is plugged in. I'm going to make sure it's not touching anything that might vibrate. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a small mic clip to a microphone stand. I'm going to use a small one because this is on the floor, so I don't need anything larger. At the moment, my mic stand is quite wobbly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's tight because I don't want it to vibrate because of the sound coming out of the amp. I'm going to be using an Audix D6 microphone. Clip it on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a feel around because it's not quite clear where the cone is, but I know that this is the dust cap, the center of the cone will be here. So anywhere between here and the edge where the wooden baffle is will be the sweet spot. So I'm gonna aim for around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim this down and I'm gonna place the microphone as close to grill as I can without it touching. I don't want it to touch because then I'm going to pick up that vibration and make sure the central pole isn't touching the floor and this is sturdy and we're good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an XLR cable and I'm going to plug that one from the microphone to channel one in my Scarlett focus right. I'm going to make sure it clicks. That lets me know that it's in. I'm going to plug that in there. So let me just show you a side profile. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the DI box so I can collect the signal that's traveling down the cable. Here we go. So there's my base. There's the amp. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get two jack cables and a DI box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the jacks, plug it into the base, and plug it into the input of the DI box, so just right there. That means the signal will go from the base into the box. I'm then gonna take my other cable, jack cable, and plug it into the link section of the DI box, and send this to the input of the amplifier. That means the signal is going from the base to the DI box in there, from the DI box to the base amp. Benefits of this is now I can use an XLR cable out the back of the DI box in the output to send the signal, a copy of the signal, directly to my recording interface. So, so that's the XLR coming out, going into channel two. Over here we have channel one, which is the microphone, channel two, which is the DI box. Now the microphone I'm using is dynamic, which means it won't need phantom power, but the DI box does need phantom power, so I just need to click the 48 volts button there. See it lights up red. What I need to do now is set my gain correctly. So first off, I'd ask my bassist to tune, which they can do using the tuner on top of the amp. Turn the amp on, and just tune the bass. Just tuned one string for this demonstration. You'd obviously tune all of them. I'm going to turn up the volume so it's at a comfortable level so I can perform. Nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my bassist to play while I set the gain um, on channel one and channel two. So I'm going to do the microphone first. So I'm going to ask them to play. And while they're playing, I'm going to turn this all the way so it goes red and then I'm going to start bringing it back. So it goes orange and then bringing it back again so it hits green. So it's consistently hitting green when they're playing really loud. So let me demonstrate that. Okay. So it went all the way to red, brought it back to orange and then brought it back to green. That means the signal now won't clip. 
need to do the exact same thing again for the DI box. Okay, so again, go to red. In terms of playing volume, um, you'd ask your musician to play as loud as they're going to play for the song. All you have to do now is set up Logic with channel 1 for the bass mic and channel 2 for the bass DI.